Hi, meow. Meow. And welcome back to our channel. Today, we are doing a third commission for Aphex. we done two in the past, and one was Amanda with the mecha arm. Amanda the mecha arm. <laughs> and the other one was... Aphex. Herself, as a demon. Yeah. Ra. Ra. <laughs> well, it was pretty much like that with the claws and everything. I loved her hand, how she was, like, scratching into the, like... Abyss. Yeah, it looked <laughs> like she was being creepy as well as... Like, ah! <laughs> so, so this one is a new character who is called Sinero or Sinairo. Sorry, or Sinera, Sinera. There's an A. I keep going O. Uh, so I hope that's how it's pronounced. And she finally has glasses. More glasses, people out there. <laughs> I never draw them, so yay! Something yeah. new for us to experiment with. I think we've only done it once before, and that was for lettuce. And I have glasses, so he never draws my characters with glasses. But then my form princess having glasses on would kind of look a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, I have like diamonds in the spectacles and you see like ten copies of people. Well, I could actually see it. Like, you know all the crown work you did? Mm -hmm. That shape for the frame of the glasses would be pretty sweet. It's like, now, Nave. And then pushes the glasses up to her forehead. And she's like... Not I banish. <laughs> <laughs> I banish you to the wilderness. <laughs> and then she has like background music. I can always imagine like princesses with their own like marching band following them with their own background music. I just feel like there'd be some out there that'd be like I have to have constantly background music. I feel like mine would have like heavy metal instead of like <laughs> marching bands. It'd just be like a whole bunch of heavy metal people, just like you know. <laughs> 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 so, Sinera is their new character. They said they haven't really finished developing them yet, and they uh, gave us two sketches, which you'll see at the end of the video. Um, and yeah, so there wasn't much information on her at the moment, just basic skin colour, hair colour. They she don't... said she knew what she looked like in her head, but it wasn't just fully, f you Flushed know. Yeah. yeah, and I get that. I have ideas for characters, and I'm like, I can't draw them right now, but I know exactly what they look like. So you know what happens? You write it all down, and then I have to draw it for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is how usually most the art turns out. It's like, oh look, I had a dream about this. You should draw this. And I'm like, yeah, pretty much. No. All my characters are like, I've seen them in a dream before. I can explain them down to a T. Like my last character was like a bubblegum punk kind of character with like turquoise on the back of its head. And I'm like, I want to draw it, and then I drew it, and it looked terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so then it comes to me, and then eventually I'll get around to it. Mm. But I've been doing so many commissions, and I've been enjoying doing the commissions a lot lately. I've been doing lots of experimenting with things that we don't usually do. Mm. And like, especially with like the mouths and stuff. Today I decided to attempt a more realistic teeth. Yeah, that went really creepy. <laughs> the gums and everything was just like, it reminded me of like, um, uh, dentures. What grandmas have been about to look like it had come out. It just yeah. looked really awkward. It was creepy. So it was like, uh... I was like, no one's ready for this level of realism with the <laughs> mouth. <It's... laughs> no one wants dentures in a picture. <laughs> so the gums disappeared and then I fixed up the teeth a little bit. And I think this looks a lot nicer. Yeah. She looks very pleasant and quirky. Oh, that's what I really like about this character. It looks super quirky. Yeah. Especially with like the haircut and everything. And not often do I do female characters with like a shaved side. And I love the Superman girl. The Superman girl. <laughs> yeah, I always like to have like, wait, like with the hair side, I try to add like strands so it doesn't look perfect. Because when it looks perfect, it looks too artificial for me. Mm. So I'm like, I gotta have some strands hanging out so it looks a bit more realistic. And I like the fact that you've actually put yellow into the hair so it changes the skin, makes it look a little bit less blendy. Yeah. Well, I think I play around with the hair a lot, and then later on I play around with it again because I still wasn't happy with it. But I ended up, like, blending the side parts with, like, the skin colour a little bit, so the shaved head looked a bit more shaved. Yeah. And you could see the skin tone underneath, which I thought looked really cool. Well, usually I will get the skin tone and put it on the shaved sides, and then I'll create another layer and I'll put, like, 50% opacity, of course. Yeah. And then I'll put um, the hair colour on top of that. But because this was so similar, I was like, there's no point. Yeah. But, yeah, because the, the skin tone was very um, 
pinky and yellow and then the hair color was just like a pale yellow so they kind of did just mix but at the end I think it looks good I can't really remember we'll have to wait until we get up to into the video yeah and during the good copy with the yellow background because I usually use a ba yellow background to help me see better mm -hmm. but oh it was so annoying to try and see the corners I had to like zoom all the way in yeah well then just make it blue or something do an opposite color mm. and then we're working on the eyes and they were a nice orangey red fire burning color wish my eyes were orange <laughs> they're so, so cool that's why they invented contacts mm. so you can just slip them on and get like an eye infection swollen face and you know you look beautiful <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, so... So her ears are really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. So, uh, just working on the glasses now. So I'm making a new layer and do like a blue colour and then an overlay effect. Just so it looks like, you know, there's actual lenses in there and then just not like prop glasses to be like, Hey, I'm so cool. And then here I go again playing around with the hair because I just wasn't happy with it at that time. And the cats are attacking each other. Awesome. <laughs> And yeah, so this picture was just really nice to do. I've been doing lots of full bodies, so just working on a face was very relaxing. Yeah, and I was like, when I was colouring it, I was going to ask your advice with the name tag. And I'm like, I don't know what colour to do it. Uh, like, do I do it in a neutral tone, because the rest of the picture's in a neutral tone? Or do I do it in a bright colour? I'm like, if I do it in a bright colour, then I'll just do it like the pink that it's on the nails. Because mm -hmm. I did the lips very natural like Amanda, because she liked the skin tone, and I was like, well, she must like the lip colour as well. Yeah. So that was cool. And I I put a love heart on the jacket because I thought it'd be, like, super cute and stuff. And then when I wrote the name, I tried blend the name in with the thing on the jacket, so I'm like, oh, look at that, that's so cool. Whee! <laughs> oh, wait, is that love heart? On, it's supposed to be, like, a pin on the jumper. Oh. You just got it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, oh. <laughs> and then, you know, another classic background. Yeah, Ada's inspired. <laughs> well, it's bubbly, it's quirky. Was 80s disco? 80s, I think 70s was disco? I don't know. I think know. 80s was punk. And 90s was like grunge. Oh. Oh, and then here's the sketches that Afix provided us. And they look super cute. And that's the finished coffee. Woo! Woo! All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, meow. Meow.